Welcome to the new office stroke studio stroke spare room. <laughs> I have been sent from Insta360, the new Insta360 X3. Now, I'm a massive, massive fan of Insta360 cameras. I've used them all from the original One X, the One RS, and even the, the, the X2. I've been using the X2 up until very recently until I've had this new bad boy come in. So the brilliant cameras, I mean, I love the dynamic sort of shots you can get with 360 cameras and it sort of lifts the whole video to a whole new, a whole new level basically. So I'm a massive fan. And when Insta360 said, do I want to be sent the new uh, X3 version to do a preview for the product release? I was all over it, of course I did. And this is it, the Insta360 X3. Stick around and I'll tell you all about this new 360 camera. What I found with it, all the features, I've got a lot of different uh, example footage I've been taking over the last couple of weeks. So settle down, grab yourself a cuppa and uh, chopsy, roll the intro. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I've been using Insta360 cameras since they came out, was it two years ago, three years ago? It all started with the Insta360 One X and then the, the modular versions came out, you know, like with the latest being the One RS. That's the modular camera which all unplugs and comes apart. You know, it's useful for doing, if you want one camera to do everything it's the RS version. But my primary camera has been the One X2. You know, it's the full only 360 camera that had an extended battery life. You know, I found this a brilliant camera and a great upgrade over the original, you know, One X. Even though the resolution didn't improve, it was a much better package and overall, overall more reliable. With the new X3, the game is certainly upped. This now comes with a half inch sensor, giving you better low light recording. Because sometimes with the X2, if you're going under tree cover on the bike and you get fast moving uh, trees coming past and in the shade, you'd get a little bit of pixelization coming in. With the X3, with the half inch sensor, it's a definite improvement. Even though the resolution is the same as the X2, it will still only record for 5K at 30 frames per second, it's the same. The half inch sensor just gives you a better overall picture quality, certainly in low light conditions. But that's not it. As well as the full touch screen, um, so you can actually preview your shots really well and all that sort of stuff. As well as those upgrades, you've also got things like me mode. So this is the perfect mode for vloggers. Put it in me mode and the camera just focuses on yourself using the uh, selfie stick point as, as like the, uh, the center of the picture. So you hold your selfie stick out in front of you, you're completely in focus at all, all, all times basically. So that's me mode. So the resolution is the same, it's the 5.7K, you know, 30 frames per second, but what they have had it added, as, lo as well as the half inch sensor, you've also got a HDR video mode, so you've got higher resolution or higher bit rate with the HDR version, so I've been using the HDR version uh, quite a lot, and I'll throw some footage up on the screen throughout this uh, preview. It's also got an improved uh, 4K mode, you know, on the old camera you could put it in 4K mode and it would just use one of the lenses and shoot like a normal action camera. Well, that's been improved with the new version, so it's got an improved 4K sort of single shot action camera mode. Invisible selfie stick is obviously, uh, they've all had that from the original version, but what Insta360 sent me and what they brought out is a five meter selfie stick. This thing is humongous and you really can recreate full on drone shots with this thing. You know, you put it five meters up the air and pan it down towards the bike, it looks like you've got a drone. So uh, quite impressed with that five meter selfie. And I've even done a bit of that holding it while riding not extended to the full five meters, that would be careless and reckless, but having it about two meters, you can get some really stunning shots. I'll throw them on the screen. Also a new time-lapse mode, which is quite cool, and that's an 8K time-lapse mode. So I've tested that, set the bike up, put it in time-lapse. You can choose how, you know, the frequency of the shots you want, add it on one second in the end. So you've got a time-lapse, which you can then, you know, in the edit, scroll around and look where you want while you're in time lapse. So that, that's pretty cool. Flow state stabilization like the old camera, but also with an improved 
Horizon lock. Before we get into too many of the tech specs, let's have a look physically at the actual camera and what's been improved over the X2 version, the One X2 version. First of all, they've now dropped the One. It's just called an X3 to keep things simple. Uh, looking through what they've sent me to say. <laughs> what they've advised that I say. I would always give you my own opinion, obviously. The camera is very, very good. It is the best 360 camera available on the market today. A 2.9 inch tampered touchscreen. So you can use it all via the touchscreen, which is quite nice. So if, if you do record something, you know, you, if you haven't, you can obviously connect to this with the phone app and you can go and look at what you've recorded, but you don't even have to bother with that because you can review what you've recorded just on the, on the screen because it's a decent size to sort of re-watch what you've recorded. So this is much, I'd say a, a better freestanding camera than the X2, which you really needed the phone integration to check your footage with that big screen, you know, the biggest screen on, I've never seen a, you know, an action camera, let's call it, with a screen as big as that. It's uh, very, very good. It's not all about the software. We actually have improved hardware, an 1800 milliamp battery. And I've had that thing recording way, way over an hour. The X2 only had a 1630 milliamp battery. And even though the batteries look the same, they're slightly, uh, slightly different slightly longer and unfortunately you know the battery isn't aren't backwards compatible so you have to have new batteries for the x3 which is a little bit of a shame it would have been nice if the x2 batteries could have fitted but because they're bigger capacity they're very very slightly bigger so uh, yeah you are going to need new batteries which is a bit of a pain Another nice feature is the charging port is now accessible with the lens cap on so you can pop that little flap up and you can charge the camera via the USB port. On the X2, you had to slide this cap up to get access to that flap. So um, that's a much better design. Turning the camera on, you get a new little splash screen and stuff. There we go. You still get a bit of an annoying beepy noise. I wish they would, uh... oh, I'm changing stuff. I wish they would not have it beep, beep, beep. It's a bit beep, beep, cheapy beepy sounding. I don't know why they have a, a cheapy, uh, a cheapy BP. Little splash screen as it turns off. Quite nice. So overall, I'm incredibly impressed with this and I can't wait to start using this in anger, you know, on all of my vlogs, all of my rides. I think I was using the, the One RS as my main sort of vlog camera because it had superior battery life and it was just a very, very stable camera. But I'm gonna upgrade that now to the uh, X3 because I think this with the, the, with the you know the, the half inch sensor, better low light, the HDR video, it's gonna it's a, it is a better quality camera than even the One RS. Even the One RS is brilliant, and obviously the One RS brings you that modularity. Is that a word? But you know you can plug it and you can do different stuff with it. But if you just want a 360 camera, this is the new daddy. Oh yeah. It's the daddy, and I can't wait to use this in anger. If you want to get yourself one of these, I've actually got some affiliate links you'll be surprised to hear. Uh, they're in the description. You get a bit of money off, or you get some extras thrown in for free with the camera. So worth taking a look. But thanks for joining me on this uh, first look at the Insta360 X3. Now, as I say, this isn't a paid video. Insta360 did send me this camera for nothing though. So just getting it out there, being honest with you guys, that is the situation. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to press subscribe. I will come back at some point and I'll do a full comparison between the X3 and the, the One X2, and maybe even going back to the original you know, X1 as well, and compare it with the RS, just to look at sort of a comparison because this is really just a preview of a new camera. So uh, if that sounds of interest, click that subscribe button, ding dong that bell, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers, guys. I will get this shitty setup sorted for the next time. <laughs> See you later. How's that for lighting? How's that lighting? Not really working, is it? Not the Blair Witch. Blair Witch Project. Welcome along to the new orifice. We're going to do this video properly now. Hang on, we're gonna do it properly, we're gonna do it properly.